got another unboxing videos yeah today we're doing two different unboxing videos I, I was deciding between doing uh, one video and I was like you know what let's just put both uh, figurines together in the same video because after all they belong in the same movie yeah I'm talking about one of my favorite movies not only uh, of all time but is in my top four uh, Tarantino movies and yeah I am talking about Inglorious Bastards so yeah as you can see guys we're gonna be doing a double feature so over here well actually I don't know which one is is which but let's just say this one over here is uh, Colonel Hans Landa all right uh, aka the Jew hunter and over here we got Lieutenant Aldo uh, Rain, also known as the Apache, and also known as uh, Enzo uh, Gorlami. Wait, wait. Enzo Gorlami. And friend as Italian. This here is the hervorragende Sensationsdarsteller Enzo Gorlami. Gorlami? Lo pronuncio correctamente? Uh, si, sí, uh, correcto. Gorlami? Per cortesia, me lo ripeti ancora. Gorlami. Mi scusi, con me? Gorlami. Ancora una volta. Gorlami. Gorlami. <laughs> I love Tarantino's sense of humor. All right, guys, so are you ready? Let's get to it. You know the drill, right? Let's open up the box. All right, Fishbone Toys. So, adult collectible. Do not forget that, because I got, I got no toys. Everything is an adult collectible, baby. Here's the box, not a lot to see, all right? So once again, it's by Fishbone Toys, all right? One six scale uh, series middle ages movable doll that is that what it says a doll collectible made in china is recommended for 15 years old and up so let's open that box my man here we go hence landa perhaps my favorite uh, villain in cinematic history or at least of all the movies that i have ever seen he's my favorite villain He's kind of an interesting character, all right? I like his character. I mean, yeah, he's evil. He's the Jew hunter, right? But he's such an interesting, interesting character. And uh, I'm not gonna get into details here, but I love, I love the character. I love uh, Christopher Waltz. He's an awesome, awesome actor who can uh, act in different languages right very fluently so i love that because i love languages so he is great as i briefly show you i love the box i think the box is pretty is pretty and uh now, now let's remove the foam and bam here it is all right my man let's get uh everything out all right guys so there is not a lot of accessories all right and you know what it would be nice it would have been nice to have a stand uh because you know it's just safer for the figure but uh, that's something i'm gonna have to buy on a side so now let's take a closer look at everything so let's begin with hans landa himself arwa shoshana it's a bingo <laughs> dude look at that it looks like him it does look like christopher waltz that resemblance nice i really like you know uh the sculpture of the head the face let's see right there it's a little blurry okay it's a little better right there i'm really digging it and here is the nazi uniform all right it's a pretty you know what it, this is a pretty pretty nice material for a third party i gotta i gotta say that 
All right, that's another that's the buckle and with the swastika right there. You got the, the the holster for the gun. Look at that. Nice boots there. Hard at the bottom, soft right here as you can see. All right, I do not have to go over all the the articulations, but is nice and stiff all right so i like that it's not the articulations are not really like loose or anything or too uh, uh, rigid i think they're just spot on okay let's see this right here there you go yeah dude dig in that resemblance of the jew hunter Colonel Hans Landa. There you go. All right, let's take a look at his uh, pipe. You may remember him, right? Using this pipe at the big, especially at the uh, during the opening, bro. Uh, that those twenty minutes of the opening of the movie. <laughs> They're great. That's such a great opening. Not only because they're they're speaking my favorite language, which is French, but just the tension building, man. If you haven't seen Inglorious Bastards, man, you gotta check it out, dude. You are missing out. So alright, so he got his we got his pipe, which I was telling you it's a little a little bit heavy. Over here we got uh, his gun. I don't know the name of it. It's one of those German ones, right? Also, it's a bit a bit heavy, so it ain't plastic. This is like metal. Same with the with the with the pipe. And then we got his briefcase. That again, he he uses this or he 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 carries this one in the beginning of the of the movie. And this is pretty pretty uh pretty flimsy, pretty soft. All right, as you can tell, right? You can tell uh, leather, not really. Uh, it's just pretty simple. All right. Um, you can see it's pretty pretty thin and over here we got his military or Nazi uh, hat that he wears uh, over here that's how he's introducing the movie right with his military coat and again this is a pretty decent material it's kind of thick actually all these pockets all right looking looking good and lastly it comes with uh, two pairs of hands all right as you can see and and that's pretty much it I mean it's missing um, a stand I think it would be nice but again that's something I can get on the side uh, but maybe get a, a, a label maker and, and you know so I can type hands land and then put the sticker on the base or something unless I can find one that is personalized but I don't know I will have to look for that stuff all right so let's see let, let's see the whole thing So there he is, ladies and gentlemen, my favorite villain, Hans Landa, a character that is smart, well-spoken, with manners, who is fluent in German, French, 
English and also some Italian not only in real life but in the movie right his character a guy that is pretty smart and he has detective skills of course he's an evil guy right he's he's a bad guy he's the villain so just one of the reasons why I find this character very very interesting and also complex alright guys so now let's open up the hero the good guy box looks exactly the same as the other one as you can see but now is the time for the hero the American Lieutenant Aldo Rain I believe he's from Louisiana because he has that southern accent so now let's open that box right on right on so here's the front of the box here we got the Apache I want my scalps 100 Nazi scalps that's what he wants right all right so let's get the figure out remove this foam cover and there he is all right once again let's get everything out here are all the accessories again there is no uh, base or stand uh, come with a messenger bag his famous or infamous knife uh, his um, what's that an automatic gun or machine gun I think and two pairs of hands besides the ones included here so let's take a closer look all right there he is does it looks like Brad Pitt ah uh, yes he does and here you can see it's like a navy uh, jacket and the pants are like corduroy and they're like brown like yeah they're brown and some black boots I like how they added like the uh, the weather or the uh, you know like he's been uh, using those boots for quite a long time he's been wearing those yeah I like that I, I, I like the, the resemblance that uh, they that they got of Brad Pitt Alright, let's see the back a lot of details Here we have the messenger bag and just like uh, Han Landa's bag is also, you know, kind of flimsy, kind of thin. I mean, it does the job, but uh, I'm just showing it to you the inside so you can see what you can expect. All right. Got some Velcro here. Uh, what is pretty nice is that knife looking thing well actually it's not a knife looking it's a freaking huge knife that he has in the movie the one that he marks those nazis with <laughs> and this is metal all right this is heavy and uh, this this is this is metal uh maybe you can hear the way it sounds once i drop it yep and over here we got the gun which uh, it looks like metal but this is light matter of fact the knife is heavier than than the gun or the machine gun all right you got the strap attached to it uh, yeah right there got the buckle it's adjustable a little bit all right here you can reload I don't think I don't see any bullets but um, anyway it opens right there to reload what is this Feels... oh okay there you go super cool man and lastly we got two sets of hands and that's pretty much it 
All right, so there he is. Uh, I like the figure. Uh, I gotta say, it would have been nice to have maybe another accessory, uh, even if he, even if the price uh, obviously had to be a little more. Uh, I would have liked to get, uh, you know, like that that uh, white uh, tux that he wears uh, during the opening of the, of the premiere of that uh, German Nazi uh, movie and uh, so that would be him as Enzo Gorlami Gorlami <laughs> I think it would have been nice to have him you know uh, display on a different with a different uh, uh, outfit but uh, I ain't gonna lie this is a, this is a cool figure like I say it's a third party and uh, so no bad and so yeah look at that profile yeah looks like Brad Pitt to me Alright everyone, so uh, overall I am pleased with both of these figures. Again, uh, this, these uh, figurines are by a, a third party, so uh, it would have been nice, uh, like I said, have another, a couple of extra accessories like, like the stand or, or an extra outfit for uh, Lieutenant Aldo Rain. Uh, also, you know what? It would be nice, maybe, if another company like like Hot Toys, if they do, you know, if they make these figures, it would be also nice. I don't know if they did it in the past, like when the movie came out. I don't know. I wasn't uh, collecting uh, 160 figures back then. I think the movie. I think it came out in 2009, 2008. Uh, you know, somewhere around around that time. So back then I wasn't collecting these beautiful collectibles, unfortunately. But uh, so, I don't know, I'm gonna look it up. But uh, so yeah, I like, like I said, I like both of the figures. I like both characters, very interesting characters, very different characters, especially Hans Landa. And if you are into movies and if you are a Quentin Tarantino uh, fan like myself, you know, he's the best writer director right you get some good directors and you get some good writers but good writer directors that combo is not is not too common in Hollywood so Tarantino is the maestro if you ask me so anyway if you are a Tarantino fan uh, check out this video I'm gonna put a link right here where I ranked all of the Tarantino movies and by all yeah nine of them and uh, number 10 coming I don't want to say soon because right now you know everybody's in a strike the writers and the actors but it's gonna be titled the film critic if I am correct all right guys thank you for watching and I am gonna see you soon in another video and until then choca la mano